am Ekim and this is the Dell Latitude E6400 review. Dell Latitude is an upgrade of its predecessor, the D630, in many different ways starting off with the build and performance. It measures at 13.2 by 9.4 by 1.0 inches and weighs about 2.3 kilograms. The 14.1 inch 1280 by 800 display is good for average viewing, gaming and normal day-to-day -day tasks that are not so demanding. At the top is a metal black lid with Adele logo on the left, a magnesium alloy body giving it, giving it a sturdy feeling along with the large hinges. The keyboard is a firm yet springy and easy for daily typing but unfortunately not for elite typists. Between the letters G and H is the responsive pointing stick that is an alternative to the small touchpad just under the keyboard. Above the keyboard are dedicated volume buttons and the speakers are found on each side of the bit. There is a small 0.3 megapixel camera at the bottom of the display with advanced light sensitivity that is supposedly made to look during a video call. On each side of the computer, there are four USB 2.0 ports, an eSATA port, VGA port, display port, an express card slot, 5-in-1 memory card reader, and have headphone plus jacks for a standard computer if you ask me. On the left, the upper USB port uses power share provided by Dell, where the users can charge their gadgets using the port that is indicated with a lightning bolt even when the computer is off, as long as it's connected to the charger. The Dell Latitude E6400 comes with an Intel 2.26 GHz Core 2 Duo P8400 processor and 2 gigs of RAM. Running multiple applications is not an issue to be exact, except when running and running demanding software or games that need a lot of processing power to run the graphics. Alongside the 2GB RAM, the E6400 provided with, is provided with 160GB storage with a transfer rate of 25MB per second. It's also protected by StrikeZone Tech for easy storage of documents, photos, music and video. The computer is also equipped with Intel's GMA 4500M HD graphics which run games quite smoothly but not at high resolutions. The battery life on the 9-cell battery is amazing, lasting about 5 hours and considering that it's a low-performance machine, that's very impressive. Charging it only takes less than an hour so that is a positive trade-off. All in all, this is an amazing laptop for regular use but not for heavy usage. The battery life is amazing and the display is an okay and the sound is quality is exceptional. The design is rather bulky but you do get used to the weight once you start using it frequently. I would give it a solid 7 out of 10 just because it can do everything on without having a hitch.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe down here. It will help me a lot. And, uh, see you soon.